arts was definitely the most useless thing that I learned in high school. And that's not because I don't have an appreciation for art history or for, um, you know, music or, you know, anything. I, I love music, but the art class that I took in high school was pretty useless, to be honest. And um, it was it, it was more like, okay, here's a pot, here's some clay, make some pots, or here's a canvas, draw a painting. And, you know, it, you don't really learn that much from doing that constantly, so. For me... The most useless thing I learned in high school was doing things that I just knew were just not relevant for me. Like, I can do maths. I was pretty good at it. Oh, well, no, I wasn't. Um, I was okay. But I can do it. But I knew that it wasn't going to go down. It wasn't a passion of mine. I wasn't going to go down a path where I was going to become a mathematician or, like, an engineer. So, <laughs> like, I don't want to say math was totally useless, but things that I just didn't feel like really affected me. Like we did this stupid vocab test in English, which was just like rote learning, really, really painful and stupid. And just was like, that was like the institution of school. And that was like, I know this, I'm going to forget this. The second I leave, the second I finish this IB exam, it's going to go out of my head. So I would have to say besides the anatomy of a lot of animals I will never see, would be that success in school is equivalent to success in the real world. In high school. Um, I would say that that would be a tie between history and biology. And I'm not just saying history because Mr. McGotlin teaches history, but uh, I would definitely say that it's been, it was definitely one of the most uh, useful things that I learned, especially since uh, right now I am a political science major in college and uh, being able to tie historical events to politics is definitely, um, definitely very useful. And also biology, biology was uh, useful. I, I, it was useful because it transformed my uh, views on philosophy and uh, science and religion in general. Because of, after I learned evolution, that pretty much changed. That pretty much crushed everything that I believed in previously, let me put it that way. Really, really important, and this is something that I obviously still use, was getting good at something and getting really, really good at something. It's not really about how smart you are, really. In the real world, it's not about your smartness. Maybe it is, but really, it's about how smart you can be and how you play the game. Because if you know that, all right, I'm awesome, I'm awesome in English, but not really good at math, you're not going to go ahead and pursue a career where you're doing math. So for me, it was about being like, look, I know my strengths. I really, really know what I'm good at. I knew that in high school. I was coming to know it. And basically, everything that I went through, I played to my strengths. And I to think critically, to um, learn how you learn, the techniques that work for you, and also how to take information and make it your own and analyze it and not just... Um, swallow it without digesting it, really. Oh my god, learning outside of the classroom. Because, again, what you learn in the classroom is great, okay? You, you might learn about history, you might learn about, you might learn a language, awesome, so, so useful. And IB is like the most useful thing in university for me. Um, all of my friends didn't know how to write an essay when I got to uni, but I'd written my extended essay, so I knew how to write an essay and I knew how to do citations, so that was so helpful. Um, but, like, you don't go, like, in high school, everything's handed to you. And people always say this, but really, high school is, well, it's, when you get to uni, you'll understand it's a lot easier than the real life. So, honestly, uh, I think, when you're not in the classroom, you're learning about how to be social, how to make friends, how to interact with people, um, how to present yourself to the world. So important. And when you're out there by yourself and you don't have your friends there with you every single day um, and you have to make an effort to, you know, go out and, and be with people and make friends and engage and socialise, um, that's something you also take for granted in high school. So for me... Learning how to just be myself and 
how I interact with others um, was like, taught me so, so much. And uh, I was part of the Model United Nations team, uh, which Mr. McGartland was actually a um, supervisor of, and he trained us. And um, I remember I was the ambassador of the delegation of Cuba, and uh, I didn't really know that much. I didn't really know that much about just the United Nations or anything, but he helped me out writing my speech. I was so nervous, but um, it was, you know, it was definitely one of my, the most positive, uh, memorable experiences. It taught me how to speak in public. It taught me um, to, to not be afraid of public speaking, but it also taught me about how the UN functions and um, how, you know, what, what international relations really is. Uh, so, yeah, that would probably be the most positive experience that I've ever had. They both have their um, positive aspects. Experimental learning sticks with you more. It, um, it makes an impact on you uh, because it's something that you experience, whereas classroom learning is more memorization, is more systematic, is a little more artificial, I would say. But both have um, their value in, in, in your life. I personally think that um, they need to work together. Like they, they need to be a combination of both. Like because they complement one another. Um, my opinion on traditional learning sh system is that traditional learning system is a shortcut that's going to teach you about the things in a relatively small amount of time. For example, in, in math, physics, chemistry, they're going to teach you about the main formulas without you having to understand um, the long boring steps uh, that got to these formulas. Like the downside of traditional learning system is that we forget about the things we learn at the speed of light. Most of the time, in, you know, from, my, from, from, my, from my personal opinion, that's the case. Like the knowledge fades away as soon as we don't need it anymore. Most of you probably don't remember exactly what was your syllabus in grade eight or seven or six or in grade nine. Like from, from those history, math, science classes you took. Which brings the question, is it useless to learn something if one can even recall it years later? I mean, that's a good question to think about. And how damn cool is Chatty? He's amazing. One of the best teachers I ever had.